Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python and MySQL series. In this video, we're going to go and understand how to use the MySQL where command in order to make our search results a little bit more specific. Let's get started. First thing first, guys, we need to create our execute command again, or our SQL formula again. And inside of this, so far, we've used two basic SQL commands, select and from. The third one that we're going to be learning today, guys, is going to be where. And using the where command in SQL, you can go ahead and specify specific conditions that have to be met when getting data back. So in this scenario, guys, I'm going to go ahead and initialize my SQL command and then say select all or select star from my table students where. And now in the where section, you can go ahead and specify what you want. So let's go back to our students and I'm going to open up my SQL workbench. And this is our data over here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, give me the students whose age is equal to 17. So I'm going to go ahead and say that by saying over here, our age column is equal to, and then inside of this, I'm going to specify 17. All right. So go ahead and save that. Awesome. Now we have to execute this guy. So my cursor dot execute pass in our SQL, and then let's go ahead and get my result. So my result is equal to my cursor dot fetch all. And then after that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and iterate through my result. So for result in my result, let me go ahead and print out what we have. So now if we run this, guys, let's take a look at what we get. Go ahead and run this and we immediately get Michelle, Mike and Mike. Fantastic. So again, the where command in MySQL allows us to specify what we're really trying to search. Is there a specific condition we have to match? So where age is equal to 17, I could say something like where our name is equal to. And then again, since their name is a string, I'm using single quotation marks to denote the string where name is equal to Mike. Let's go ahead and save that and run this. And let's take a look. There we go. We get our two mics. So go ahead and make sure that your SQL command follows what's in your MySQL database. Again, if you don't have values like mine, you probably didn't get anything returned. However, since I do have mics and I have 17s, that's how we had some values being shown up. Now, the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is going to be wildcard characters. For example, if you have a phrase and you're looking for all the words that start with something or end with something or just have that specific phrase in it, you can go ahead and use wildcard characters to specify the start, the includes or the ends of a given letter or phrase. So let's go ahead and understand how we can do that. We right now have select all from students where name is equal to Mike. Now what we're going to do guys is we're going to use another command called like. So go ahead and delete this and we're going to say where our name is like. Okay. So we're saying where the name column is sort of like this. And then inside of our single quotation marks, I'm going to go ahead and say M I and then a percent sign. So again, the percent sign is your wildcard character. And what we're basically saying here, guys, is give us all of the results inside of the name column where the text looks like M I and then anything after that. So the wild card basically means anything after that or anything before that. For example, if I did percent M I percent, this would mean that M I is in the middle of that text somewhere in between anything before anything after. However, if I just do M I and the percent sign, I'm saying that the text has to start with M I and the rest after M I can be anything I want. So select star from students where name like M I percent sign again, percent sign is your wild card. Go ahead and save that and run it. And then we get our three M I's Michelle, Mike and Mike going back to our database. Let's go ahead and look for something else. For example, I see an AC and an AC, both Rachel and Jacob have an AC. So I'm going to go ahead and change this and say percent AC percent. And again, what this new formula does is it's going to give me all of the different items in our name column that have a C something before a and something after the C all of those will get returned. Go ahead and save this and run it. And we get Rachel and Jacob. Fantastic. Now, one last thing I want to cover guys is the problem of SQL injection. Whenever you're doing an SQL command like this, it's always good to use placeholders and then pass in your values, just like we did before having our formula and then our placeholder fill value. That way it's safer, it's more secure. And basically SQL injections is a common web hacking technique that destroys or misuses your database. So it's better to just put a percent sign over here. So where name is like, or I can let me just say where name is equal to percent S. And then I can go ahead and execute my command by saying SQL comma, 
and I can pass in something else. And this again could be a variable. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Mike. All right, let me make this a lowercase s. There we go. And now if I run this, I will get my two mics. Could not process our parameters, and that is because I need to go ahead and store this as a tuple. So let me go ahead and say Mike, and then empty this. There we go. And now run it, and there we go. We have our two mics, Mike and Mike. Fantastic. So that, guys, is how you can go ahead and make your queries using Python and MySQL much more specific. We learned about the where command and the like command. One allows us to specify what we really want in the column, and the other allows us to specify placeholders where we're trying to get a specific amount of data that we like. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.